Hey everybody, this is Richard Kyle here at uh, Sure Productions, and I uh, wanted to talk to everyone about a very useful item that everyone should carry in their bug out bag or whether EDC, just any kind of bag you're going to be carrying in the wilderness. Uh, this item is a bandana. This particular item has uh, too many uses to mention. I mean, there's just way too much that you can do. I mean, for me to list right now, but uh, <clears throat> all you have to do is put your imagination to it, and you can just keep listing things you know that you can do with just a bandana not to mention that they're very cheap but there is one thing that I will add which is uh, you want to make sure that the bandana you carry is 100% uh, cotton and this is uh, so that uh, if you decide to make char cloth if you need to make some char cloth you know you can actually do it if it's not 100% cotton it's not going to work so <clears throat> I figured I'd give a list of just 20 you know, simple things that you can do with they uh, bandana. Uh, you can use one as a signal, you know, for signal advice. If you're carrying one that is uh, brightly colored, <coughs> this one you see here in front of you is camo. So you wouldn't want to use this one for signaling, <laughs> obviously. Um, you can use it to uh, wrap around your neck uh, for cold weather to keep your neck warm. I, pro I probably have to say that you'd probably have to use two to cover your neck completely. Um, you can use it for a tourniquet, a pot holder, uh, you can use it to, um, make a sling for if you have an injury, um, a sling for throwing rocks or, you know, a small game, something like that. You can use it for cordage, you can cut it into strips, or you can leave it like it is, either one you want to do, um, collecting wild edibles to protect your neck from the sun, you know, keep the sun off your neck, you know, that's one good thing you can do with it. Um, a washcloth or a towel. You know, to clean yourself up, you know, because everybody knows hygiene is very important when you're in the wilderness. Um, you can use it as a, um, as toilet paper. Um, I know that sounds really funny, but it's possible. Uh, sweat band, or you can wet it and keep your head cool. Uh, if you have belt loops on your pants, you can also, uh, tie it to your belt loops and make, you know, a kind of fanny pa a fanny type pack, you know, to carry stuff in. Um... You can use it to mark your trail uh, or trails. Um, also, while I'm talking about marking trails, one other thing that uh, I wanted to mention is um, another good thing for marking trails is thumbtacks, the little small silver ones, just a round head on it. You push a little push thumbtacks. Those work really good. Perf you know, preferably the silver ones. So see what happens is they can actually reflect the light, you know, from flashlights or whatever. And that's a really good way to mark your trails in case you don't want to get lost, especially, you know, at night, you know. You don't want to lose a trail or any, at night time. Things can look a whole lot different than in the day. Um, <clears throat> you can use it like a, a dish rag for cleaning dishes or anything like that. Um, it can also be used as a filter for large dirt in your water, you know, filtering out large amounts of dirt, debris and stuff. Um, you can use it as, use one as earmuffs you know keep your ears warm uh... you can use it to take a smoke bath you know um, or a dust mask you can also uh... for a dust mask you can also use it uh... you can wet it and use it as a mask from smoke you know like if you're in in a house full of smoke or something you know wet one wrapped around your face to help keep the smoke out so that you can you know breathe to get out of the house um, and you can use it for you know like a um, handkerchief for if you, you know if you've been uh, your nose is runny, you know, wiping your mouth and wiping your nose, stuff like that. Um, and this is just a start. I mean, you can imagine the possibilities that you could do. I mean, there's plenty of things that you can do with this. And there's other things I ain't even mentioned that I can mention right now, but I'm just going to leave it at 20. Um, I figured I'd also give a uh, shout out to Blue Dog Bushcraft. He, uh, he has some pretty good videos, and um, I think he's going to he's gonna come up pretty well. I think he's going to do do some really good stuff, you know, he's got some good videos now, him and his dog and all, but uh, he didn't get many subscribers, you know, maybe y'all could check it out, take and give it a look, and uh, thank you for watching this video, if you would, you know, comment, I'll take the comments, if you want to comment on what else you could use it for, feel free, everybody that's going to be seeing this, you know, get some good ideas from it, appreciate it.